Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a used 12 by 12 inch gallery wrap canvas and I'm going to do a uh, just a flip cup on it and it's uh, going to be a cloudy flip cup because I am using enamel paint. So let's go over my paint. Um, I mixed the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White about half and half with the Folk Art Enamel. And that's what I have down as a base coat right here. And I'm also going to be adding more into the pour. My next paint is a combination of the Artist Loft Metallic Red and I, I added just a little dollop of the Metallic Black, Artist Loft Metallic Black to that just to darken it up a little bit. And you'll see it's more of a burgundy color and I can show you consistency right away. Just leaves a little trace and then disappears. And my next color is Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green. Next color is Liquitex Silver. Liquitex Basics Silver. And my last color is um, Dioxazine Purple. It is a color that I had mixed up prior to this. And that is the color. So let's get started with layering the paints. Just get my cup ready here. And I'm just going to set the cup right here to start. And I will start with just a little bit of the white in the bottom. And I'm hoping that all these colors do play well together. And while I'm thinking about it, let's go over pouring medium. It's two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, and a teaspoon of the uh, Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish, and I did not add any silicone today. So that is the pouring medium. I did have to thin my paints just a little bit, and my thinning mixture, I don't use just plain water, I use a mixture of 90% water, 10% Floetrol that I have in a squirt bottle and I just thin them that way. And I'm just hoping to get a little bit of the cloudy effect today with these paints. Hope you all are having a good day today. And I hope that if you are quarantined to home, that you do take the time, if you have the time, to watch your favorite artists. There are a lot of artists right now pouring on YouTube a lot, a lot of really beautiful pictures or paintings. And uh, now's the time to catch up on that. A lot of different pouring methods being used. And this is just, the flip cup is just a real basic Real basic, basic, um, easy pour to do. And I do suggest it highly for those of you that are just starting out in the, in the um, acrylic pouring. Fun to do, easy to do.
think I'm just going to end with a little bit of the white. And that's it. And I'm just going to um, pick up my canvas here and helped it out a little bit. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this white around the cup yet. Just to help that flow a little bit better. And I will fix up my sides off camera. Okay, and I think I'm just going to, I guess I'm just going to call it burp this cup as I bring it up a little bit. And I think I will torch it before I start to tip. I do have plenty, plenty of paint on there. And let's see what I get as I start tipping. I'm going to be running quite a bit of this paint off. But I do have my lowly Veffy mat underneath that I can save for skins. And what I do is I give them to a local art store that there's ladies that use it to make jewelry. They're always very happy to get those skins. I'm going to take a look at it here a minute. I think I'm going to tip a little bit more this way. bring it back and I'm going to tip it this way just a bit here and bring it back. Take another look at it.
me just check my corners here. I still do have a lot of paint on this canvas, so what I think I'm gonna do is just tip down this way a little bit. And then bring it back. Okay, I'm going to take another look at it. I'm going to tip a little bit more this way. And bring it back. By thinning that paint out, I think I'm going to get more of a, the cloudy effect. More of those cloudy cells come up. And now I'm just going to bring it down here, bring it down a little bit straighter. Take another look at it. Just really not happy with this corner down here, so I'm just going to try and take a little bit off of that corner. He is starting to move a little bit slower now. And then I'll bring it back. And I'm going to take another look at it here now. Clean off the bottom. Check the corners here. Very, a very muted painting, very pastel-like, which is, I, I really like this area here. And I'm going to torch again. See what comes up. I'm just going to take a look at it here. See if I'm really happy with this. I think what I'm going to do is 
take a little bit off of this edge here and I'm going to put some white in and do some more tipping. See what kind of outcome I get with that. bring it back okay I like that a little bit better And I will torch again. Okay, just quickly clean off the bottom here and check the corners. And I will get you down for a close up. Again, this is a 12 by 12 gallery wrapped canvas that I did a flip cup on using enamel paint. And I will show you the parts of the painting that I really, really like. Here's the upper left-hand corner. I do like the red cells that are popping up. Some blue cells there. And I'll take you up the middle. And I do like the muted, it almost turned out pink, coral. That's so pretty in there. Minty color, that's nice. And this is the part that I like, this muted lacing in here. That's that cloudy effect that you get with the enamel paint. That's my favorite spot in there. Here's the upper right hand corner. Some cute little cells in there. And this is a nice spot here too. This is the lower right hand corner in there. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, share it, make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, I'd really appreciate that. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now. Hi everybody, it's Deb again. After I got done filming that painting, I just took a look at it and I thought it looked way too plain. 
and I figured there were some really pretty colors underneath all that paint that were begging to come out. So what I did is I took my, my little balloon filled with water and I did some balloon kisses and some balloon rolls. You'll see that's a balloon roll right there and that's a balloon roll right there. And the rest are balloon kisses, more or less. And I've been watching a lot of Jilly Cube and Heather Mater. They both do a lot of really beautiful uh, balloon rolls and balloon kisses. So check out their channel too. Um, I don't claim to be as good as them, but I did think that this really did add a lot to this painting and I'm really happy with the results. So let me know what you think. Did it add more? Is it, is it uh, an improvement over what the finished product was earlier? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, bye for now.